narrated by Abdullah bin Amr, once Allah's messenger peace be upon him remained behind us in a journey. He joined us while we were performing ablution for the Azhar prayer, which was overdue. We were just passing wet hands over our feet, not washing them properly, so the Prophet peace be upon him addressed us in a loud voice and said twice or thrice, Save your heels from the fire. Narrated by Abu Burda's father, Allah's messenger peace be upon him said, Three persons will have a double reward. 1. A person from the people of the scriptures who believed in his Prophet, Jesus or Moses, and then believed in the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, has embraced Islam. 2. A slave who discharges his duties to Allah and his master. 3. A master of a woman slave who teaches her good manners and educates her in the best possible way, the religion, and monuments her and then marries her. Narrated by Ibn Abbas, once Allah's messenger peace be upon him came out while Belal was accompanying him. He went towards the women thinking that they had not heard him, or his sermon. So he preached them and ordered them to pay alms. Hearing that the women started giving alms, some donated their earrings, some gave their rings and Bilal was collecting them in the corner of his garment. Narrated by Abu Huraira, I said, O Allah's messenger peace be upon him. Who will be the luckiest person, who will gain your intercession on the day of resurrection? Allah's messenger peace be upon him said, O Abu Huraira. I have thought that none will ask me about it before you as I know your longing for the learning of hadiths. The luckiest person who will have my intercession on the day of resurrection will be the one who said sincerely from the bottom of his heart none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. Narrated by Abdullah bin Amr bin Alas, I heard Allah's messenger peace be upon him saying, Allah does not take away the knowledge, by taking it away from the hearts of the people, but takes it away by the death of the religious learned men till when none of the religious learned men remains, people will take as their leaders ignorant persons who when consulted will give their verdict without knowledge. So they will go astray and will lead the people astray.